if you're looking for horror, you you want zombies because zombies are people, only they're dead. I've always been into horror. Um, I like I like the old style horror stuff like ghosts. Um, zombies and things like that, you know. Um, monsters, werewolves, vampires, not too really keen on that, to be honest. Berserker Comics was started by myself and my two brothers, Adam Ran. We started at the start of 2008. Our initial plan was to do a zombie title with some artists that we knew. There is an awful lot of work behind the scenes on comics and it's just unbelievable really to be honest. Uh, there's basically three of us that are doing the work of maybe about seven or eight people. Simon would get the script and he would draw out these pages and then he would send them all over to us. And we scan them in and then print them out so that they can be inked by Andrew. My job is to go over the top of the lines and tighten all the shapes in and uh, thick and thin lines out depending on how defined each part is meant to look. So when we've got then the ink and the underlaid pencils, that's when we can start colouring underneath. Um, I would start by underlaying different textures. So I would underlay all these different sections and obviously trim them out and highlight different areas and darken down, put shading in them. The final part of the process is the lettering. So um, to do the lettering basically what we do is I would get the finished coloured piece and I would put the text on and uh, try and put the text in such a way that it would flow through the artwork. Once we finish the letter and we uh, get all the files ready for print and send them to the printers and it's usually around about 10 days uh, before we actually have a finished copy of the comic. Luckily enough we've been dealing with really, really professional artists and writers. And, um, Simon Bisley has a really big fan base of his own. Um, uh, Glenn Fabry has, his covers for Preacher are very, very famous. And um, Alan Grant's work is superb. So um, we've got a superb team really to put together to, to create um, a superb comic. There's, um, self-publication isn't completely unique. What is unique is uh, sort of somebody who can sort of make a go of it and make it last. I mean, I, I do know quite a lot of people who have uh, sort of uh, done self-publishing and they kind of um, fall over after the uh, sort of the first magazine's out. Because issue number one of things generally does pretty well. Uh, issue number two, that's when you find out whether or not there's going to be like a kind of a difficulty with it. We've uh, sold around about seven and a half thousand copies of issue one. Um, they've went around worldwide. Issue two, uh, we haven't got our figures in yet, but um, I'm expecting those probably to be around about the same, or if not a bit better. Um, we'll probably see uh, an increase maybe around issue three or four. You know, you sort of have to make a plan if you're not meeting this, you know, a sort of quota of sales by a certain you know, point, you have to look at what you're doing and change something. But, you know, we've, we've put in those plans and at the minute we're meeting them or we're above them. So hopefully it'll continue to snowball and get bigger and bigger. I think it's going to be very hard to kill the dead, generally. It's I think it's undead. just going to, yeah, because it's undead already. I think it'll be out there and it's our master plan is to get it all around the world and then invade, yeah. invade, infect, the infect their minds with the dead and convert everybody to uh, zombie loving. <laughs>